the most famous one from 1971 is If Footmen Tire You, What Will Horses Do? And I mean, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Of all time. <sighs> this is the second time you said that today. And I believe you. <laughs> but he made three with one guy with in With one guy. And that guy's name was Estes W. Perkle. And what a name. Ugh, wow. It s- sounds made up. Fire and Brimstone has never applied more. America is being taken over by its licentious uh, desires. Sex is all around us. But what it's not conservative with is the atrocious violence that's on screen. Truly hideous. Yeah. To deter you from these things happening, I'm going to show you very fun versions of them. But it cuts back and forth between his sermon and enactments of what the communist takeover will look like. And the communists are kind of a combination of Russians and Cubans. So what really struck me is the stuff that when you see it, you're like, that's not faked. Like at one point... Um, A kid who's being horribly tortured with bamboo stalks in his ears just (laughs) vomits for real. (laughs) And it's so gross. The movie definitely has kind of like a Mondo quality to it. Absolutely. (laughs) Because there's (laughs) one scene where um, a communist general is talking to a class and he goes, Ask Jesus for candy. Will he give it to you? Now, ask Castro. Here! Here is candy! (laughs) I mean, he's basically arguing that cultural Marxism is happening, you know? (laughs) He's he's arguing that, like, we're on our way to embracing these evil communist values. His perception of what communism... He thinks communism is sex and violence, basically. Mm. I mean, the movie is an amazing social document of Mm. just people who were civilians in Nashville... It wasn't Nashville, it was New Albany, Mississippi, actually. There's a kind of teenage, barely legal girl in the audience who... You know, she doesn't really care about uh, God all that much. She She's having premarital sex. She's basically being tempted by sin. And as the sermon keeps going, she keeps realizing, oh my God, I have to give myself to Christ. 